Resistance band training and endless laps up and down the pool. That's what makes up FIU's not so ordinary rest day. We just train a lot. We're training the body to be faster and stronger. You have to swim twice a day, you know, four hours a day most of your days. So, you know, we're up here actually at this pool uh, by 5 a.m. This season, there's a new set of challenges for FIU in their race to defend their conference title. Renovations at the Tamiami Parks pool forced the team to travel to Gulliver Preparatory School, where they now hold their vigorous training sessions. 10 to 12 hours a week of travel to and from practices, you know, on top of the training load, on top of their classes, tutoring, uh, life in general that a student athlete has. So it's not, it's not good, you know, to say it doesn't take a toll on them. You know, you know it does. But the team hasn't let the extra time on the road take away their championship mindset. The travel, obviously, it's sometimes the pain. We have to wake up earlier and it takes, uh, our practice schedule is longer in terms of how much free time we have now. So that's the only real uh, thing that's affecting us. Our team, we're really used to adversity, so we're dealing with this really well. This pool is very nice compared to the Tamiami pool we train at. Freestyle swimmer Becky Wilde is a senior recruited from Northumberland, England. She says the team is ready for more after spending the last season under the radar. We went into a conference last year as the underdogs and now we're going in as the top dogs. We thrive on that as a team. Even though the team's eyes are set on another title, their goals are much deeper than the water they swim in. When they come in, and we, we start recruiting them at sometimes 16, 17 years old, you know, when they get out of college after their career, you know, it's a full, full development of a person, and that's our goal, that they leave here as a better person than they came in. FIU swim team has 10 meets left on the road to defend their conference championship. This is Danny Segura for Bay News.